Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Direwolf 20. Day between episodes. I did a fair amount, not a ton, so let's take a look and uh, get right to her. Uh, I did some building, kind of just figured out, kind of the structure is kind of going, how I'm going to build things. Started moving my machines around all willy-nilly, powering them pretty much entirely by the wireless transmitters for now, because we only have low power needs. And uh, yeah, I made some blocks, so I got these Tyrion factory and laboratory. Laboratory takes some quartz. Uh, Tyrion takes some iron. I think the factories take iron too, actually. Factory. But you get a good amount of them too, right? So, oh, not that one. It's that one. Yeah, you get 32 uh, for four iron. So it's going to be an overtime thing. I don't have the iron to kind of do everything I want to do yet. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be an over, overtime thing. I just keep saying it. <laughs> uh, what we're going to work on today, though, is a couple things here. The first thing I want to work on, actually, we'll go here. We're going to need a storage bus. So let's grab a storage bus. There we go. Go here. Bam. Storage vice. No, let's get a storage bus. So we're going to need a interface. Bam. Should be able to make that right off. Should be able to make some of these puppies. Maybe. I need to make some regular. There we go. And maybe a sticky piston. And clear you. And there we go. We've got a storage bus. And we're also going to need some uh, fluix. So let's get that real quick. Limitless, limitless potential. Look at that. Let's go over here. I need some of this stuff. Certus Quartz Dust. Just getting this as a byproduct is processing my Certus Quartz Dam. Uh, one issue I found. Gonna, you gotta be careful of this one. Charge Certus Quartz. Do not run it through a pulverizer. So let's go to... Uh, get rid of that. Uh, charged Certus Quartz. Bam. Go to uh, Use. Go to Pulverizer. You run it through here. You get regular Certus. So you definitely don't want to do that. Kind of a waste. Anyway, I wasted about five of them before I caught on. Also, I put these in here. Uh, Augment Auxiliary Receive. Makes it so you get more chances of a secondary output. So, yeah, I threw that in the Pulverizer and the uh, Induction Spelter. Uh, and, yeah, they're not too bad. Some bronze, some wood, and uh, one of those. Good to go. Got two of those now. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go over here. We need to make some uh, cable. So, let's go to uh, Fluix. Fluix. There we go. Grab some of you. Bam. Oh, I should probably do that. There we go. Do that. Throw you in there. I just know I don't have much cable. There we go. I want that one. No, I don't want to use that Fluix. Let's get to uh, Fluix. And here. There we go. Don't know like why it pulls the pures first, but nothing you can do about that. So let's go downstairs, because I did a little setup down here. Nothing really complicated. This is just a drawer wall. Just a drawer wall. So these are the regular basic drawers. These ones are all compacting. These ones here are all two by twos, and I have some of the stuff from the mob farm kind of already in there. Uh, boom. Are you glitched again? You you ring. You ring of glitchness, anyway. But yeah, you can see they're in there. They're doing their thing. And uh, we're going to hook this up to the AC system so it can see these items. Then I can start putting items in here kind of in a filtered way. And uh, AE will be able to pull items directly from the storage drawer. Uh, I use this for things for, say, like stone, you know, dirt, stuff like that. You always have a lot of in the system, but uh, you really don't want in your dish drives because it just eats up space. Anyway, we're going to come over here. We're going to grab our storage bus. We're going to have to make a key, too, actually. I don't have a key yet. Let's go here. Bam. Bam. And I guess I'm going to fly. Probably the easiest way to do it. Although I have to be kind of quick about it. Oh, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. And there we go. That's linked up. Uh, the system should be able to see the items, but right now we have a problem. <laughs> I need to make a key first. Let's get to that. Because any item I drop in there right now, if I even drop those in there right now, they're going to go into drawers. Um, grab a key. Key. Let's see here. Drawer key. Let's grab this drawer key. The whole point of the drawer is the drawer can see all these other drawers. Uh, any drawer that is connected to the wall. So it can see these ones right here. So this is what? Five by six, I think. 5 by 6 something like that. Um, it would be able to see all these. It could see any of them that are up to 12 blocks away. It would not be able to see these ones normally because they're not actually connected, but I'm using these down here. I'm using the oak trim. You all, it's just trim. doesn't matter what kind of wood it's made of, uh, but they're basically cables. So just treat that as a cable. That is just linking this wall with that wall so the controller can actually see all those two. So realistically, you could make a drawer wall that is 25 by 25 by 25. I wouldn't advise it because it would probably be very laggy. So anyway, um, I'm going to take this key. I'm going to right-click on there. And you can see there, there's little keyholes now. It means they're locked. 
Uh, basically, AE can't put items in here now unless they're already in there. So yeah, these ones. And if I took out every single one of, say, that string, uh, let's do that right now, it would just still show the string. So oh, pull it out. There we go. So there's no string in there, but that still shows the string because it just remembers string belongs in there. So that's kind of the way I want it. And uh, yeah, I'll be able to, you know, add upgrades to these drawers. Some of them are going to get an upgrade called a void upgrade. So if this drawer becomes full um, of, say, rotten flesh, and I only want to keep, you know, around 2,000 hour rotten flesh in the system at all at any time, you know, just giving you a number. Um, if it goes over that number, it'll void it off and just get rid of it. And it's gone forever. You don't have to worry about it after that point. So void upgrades are great. You also have these ones here, which are the drawer upgrades. And these ones, depending on them, so let's go to add storage, add multipliers to the possible storage. So I think the gold ones, they're just easy to make. So I usually go with gold eight times the base value, where emerald is 32. I, I usually just use gold because you usually have way more gold than you do diamond and uh, <laughs> emeralds. Anyway, there we go. And uh, that'll handle that. I am going to come down here in between episodes. I'm going to say these compact drawers. This is going to hold all my igots, probably my glowstone, my redstone, Anything that uh, compresses, right? So that's the whole point of compact your drawer. So if I put a piece of iron in here, it would also show nuggets and uh, blocks. So pretty cool like that and uh, what we're going to use it for. And that way EE doesn't have to learn that, learn how to do that itself later on, which is kind of cool. And okay, the next thing we're going to get to is a mob farm. So I have a bunch of stuff in this crate and uh, we already had a mob farm. I broke it down. This is actually the block. And uh, yeah, we're not going to use that one. I want a larger one. So we're going to do that really quick. Get that crafted up. But there's a couple other things I want to get crafted up first. So let's grab that. We're going to get some upgrades for the... I'm going to be using the Restorb Spawner. So uh, I can put four speed upgrades in that in 112. It used to be 20, but uh, it's four now. So let's do that. Speed upgrade. Bam. Grab you. And I just made a bunch because we'll need more later on anyway. But that's good. Um, what else do I need here? I'm going to need an Ender Pearl to do the craft on the compact machine. Bam. we got a good amount of Ender Pearls, actually. Oh yeah, that's not running right now. <laughs> no point looking at that. I was kind of curious if we had more, but I did break it down. Uh, we're also going to need some vector plates, actually, to move mobs around. So we'll do that. Vector, not not vector, vector. There we go. And these things just, uh, I know I need some of those. Uh, they work like conveyor belts, basically. So yeah, pretty simple. They do the things and the stuff. And they'll move the mobs around for us really easy. That should be enough there. And uh, I think we pretty much have everything, to be honest. So let's throw that in there. Let's throw that in there. Anything else there? Just looking. Got enough dark glass. I have some of these lamps that we're going to use to kind of be able to light up the mob farm. I know something else I want. I want a RF transmitter. Let's grab one of them. No, it's not a transmitter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> let's just do transmitter. I forget what to call called. Transmitter from RF tools. Yeah, I want to have a way to turn these on and off. So let's do that. I need two, so I need a redstone transmitter. And I'm going to need a redstone receiver. So let's get one of those. I before E, except for after C. Anyway, <laughs> let's do that. English language doesn't make sense. Those rules do not apply most of the time. <laughs> I don't even know why we have rules for the English language, to be honest. Uh, lever. We're going to need one more lever, too. Let's uh, grab that. There we go. And I think we have everything. I also have this lamp controller. We got this free earlier on in the pack. I just decided to grab it. Uh, one thing I should tell you about restored mob spawners now, too. They don't care about light levels anymore. So something to be very aware of. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go craft the this this here. Let's go through this puppy dam and get the giant. We're actually going to make the giant one. So it's going to be giant. It's going to be massive. It's going to be huge. Not really. It's going to be 13 by 13 by 13. So, yeah, kind of a thing. Get that built up. And I'll show you how this kind of works just for the larger ones. Because you do have to have a block. Uh, the block of emerald in it. And I wasn't sure about this the first time I did it. Then one of my patrons actually told me how you could see it. So if you, actually, I'll show you. Let's go to uh, compact blocks. And go here. Go to maximum compact machine. If you hold shift, it'll actually show the inside of the block. You can see there, you can see kind of a green outline there. That's the emerald. Just telling you where it goes. And, uh, we'll just put it there and there. Probably pull out that three. And uh, ooh, break that puppy. There we go. And that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this. Let's see here. I had it set up for east before. So I'm going to do the, oh, it's not east, sorry, south. 
So this, uh, I can still use this one uh, item duct for now. Probably gonna go to a different setup when we move everything around. Uh, but for right now, it'll work. I, my main thing right now is just blaze rods. I need ender tanks and I need uh, ender tanks and uh, ender chest. Kind of moving forward to be able to move things around kind of wirelessly. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up our entry point. Probably set it up, actually I've learned. You wanna face the way you want your entry point to be when you walk in. So I'm gonna put it there, that way I'll be looking forward. Uh, we'll throw a crate down here somewhere, bam. Probably grab a tunnel right off the hop and kind of locate the center block. Looks like that right there. And we wanna set that to south, right? There we go. You can see on the outside, it says there, it, says, it sees the uh, item duct that's out there, which is kind of what I wanted there. Gonna grab a bunch of this, probably a chisel as well. Chisel some of the stuff just so it's not cobble. Cause it's more of a, this is gonna be a keeper, right? It'll be the one I use for the rest of the pack. On well, the mob farm anyway. Yep. It's gonna get some more stuff added to it later on, but uh, yeah. I'll probably end up with spawners, uh, four spawners, or yeah, four. Uh, Cause I'm probably gonna add all the uh, thermal mobs as well later on. So yeah, kind of what I'm thinking there. Anyway, let's go. About that size, I was thinking. Here we go. Doesn't need to be massive. So that would make it how big on the front, on the outside? Yes, yeah, seven by nine. That works fine. I guess we can go this way. I think, I think that's right. Yes, okay. And that is nine, right? No, totally not, because this besides worked up because well i'm a derp and i don't know why sometimes when you start building in these things yeah lighting i was just gonna mention that's what i was talking about the lighting bug but uh it does fix itself after a while i've noticed uh we're gonna need our dirt so let's grab that grab our wand to kind of speed this up there we go and probably you and we're just gonna do a regular mob farm here so i'm gonna have dark glass all across the front but uh there's one thing i want to do first so let's do that Let's, uh, I want to be able to turn off the cursed uh, earth mobs whenever I want to. So we're going to add in kind of a little lighting system here. And uh, yeah, we're going to use the actually additions lamps and the uh, lamp controller. Just to have something a little different, you know what I mean? There we go. And the way the lamp controller works is uh, it can turn on any lamp that is kind of connected to it. So we'll have that in a second here to kind of understand what I'm saying. But it can kind of do a giant string of them all at once, as long as they're all touching each other. There we go. That's facing the right way. And uh, we're just going to bring those across. And these things aren't too expensive. They do take some glowstone, but I just did the white ones because they just take white dye. I didn't have to worry about any other dye. It's a palace, which is just lapis. Uh, right through the reconstructor. There we go. But you get four per recipe, so they go pretty far. There we go. That should handle that. Let's grab that jazz. And uh, that thing just needs a lever now. So let's grab that. Boom. And throw you there. And boom. I could just come in here. I could turn that on and off whatever I want. And uh, that'll turn off the cursed earth, Bob. So that is cool. We're also going to need a switch for the restored one, but we'll get to that later. I think next we'll probably get the uh, vector plates in. So let's do that. Hopefully I made enough. I'm looking at it, it might be not enough. <laughs> I am a wordsmith. Anyway, uh, to place these things easily, hold shift. If you hold shift, it doesn't push you forward. If you let go of shift, it's going to just push you. And you can make faster ones. I just didn't bother. And you also need wither dust. So, uh, yeah, another component that I don't have a lot of right now. So, anyway, you are killing some withers. Not withers, uh, wither skeletons, I guess, would be a big deal. So the inside of this should be a 5x5, five because five, that's the area of the actual, um, uh, not that one, the mob crusher. Well, it's the area of both, but, uh, is the area of this. So mob, slaughter factory, that one's going to go here, kind of the same as we had before. Because this one's the really limited need, I just need this one for pink slime. So, um, uh, which we haven't even got into yet, but I just figured do it proactively so I don't have to come and do it later. So that's going to handle that, that's going to handle that. We're going to need you gone. We're going to run power through the bottom, so let's grab the uh, Synclum Plated Ducks, and then we can pipe the items out as well through this, same as before. Bam, that'll handle that. Um, we'll just need a servo, 
I guess this one. I might as well save that duct, right? Because that one does not need items. So we'll just put a leadstone there. Uh, we're going to set up our tank again, and then we're going to move the, round, the liquids around later with the ender tank. But I just need to kind of have the stuff in place here so I know how everything's going to go. I guess it goes something like that. It'll probably sit right there. That'll handle that. Uh, I also have two drums. So I made these for the liquid meat and the pink slime that were in this machine, just so I didn't have to waste it when I pulled it out. So I just piped it into these drums. They're just a bunch of iron, but they're going to hold 256 buckets each which was good enough for me. So I'm gonna put those over there. Uh, we're gonna need our fluid ducts. Those are item, uh, fluid duct? Oh, right there. Okay, I was confused. Uh, I'm gonna just run you here, here, here. I'll end up with one there. There, there, there. There we go. Then I'll handle all that. And uh, some people might be saying you should be having this link to that. You know what I mean? But it doesn't matter because I'm never gonna have both these machines on at the same time. This one will actually be paused. I only have this one on when I want pink slime, literally. So it doesn't really matter that I have them both on because the liquid, 90% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, is just going to be essence. So I'm not really concerned about it. Uh, anything else we need here right this second? No. I do know that I want another regular servo because I do not need... Wait a second. Oh, is it because it's paused? Oh, that's cool. When it's paused, it breaks the uh, connection to the pipe. That is actually pretty cool. Huh. So it basically turns off all the inputs and outputs. Okay. Anyway, I want a servo. I'm going to need two servos. So actually, I'm curious how that works now. If I pause that and put a that there, because we are going to need one, put that there, and then pause it, what happens? Okay, can't break the connection when a servo is there. Anyway, I was just curious. Uh, I guess these ones I actually care a little more about speed. So let's go here. And uh, I don't actually, I'm not sure. Someone can let me know. I don't know if these servos move fluids faster. Do they? Okay, 150%. Okay, so it does move fluids faster. I'm going to want one there. I'm going to want one there. We're going to have an under tank up here. Kind of move that around. But uh, we're going to have to get a couple blaze rods before we do that. Let's grab our dark glass. Hopefully all of it. There we go. Kind of go over here. Probably get this done here. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Grab our wand, maybe. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Get rid of you. And just wand this jazz across. I'll need one right there, because I won't be able to wand it. There, I will have to go in there a bit in a couple minutes, so not gonna rush that. No, oh, no, it still made me face at the wall, so I have no idea. It's got me in the right spot, but it's making me face the wall when I come in here. That's kind of, maybe it's got to do with the uh, side you're looking at when you uh, use the uh, shrinking device on it. I, I'm just trying to figure out how that works, right? Let's go here, I guess. And uh, we're just going to make the item extract them fast. So let's throw that there. And that'll pull out items all quick. I think that's pretty much everything we need. Uh, we are going to have to get this restored spawner kind of the right spot. I'm going to turn this to redstone. Oh, it doesn't work like that. When I break it and then put it back down, I don't think it remembers. Okay, we'll fix that in a second. Let's go here. Bam. Oh, and I need these. There we go. And I think that's fine. Okay. First thing we got to do is link up these. So we're going to link up the transmitter and the receiver. So I'm going to take the transmitter. I guess it doesn't really matter where it goes. Maybe right there. That's fine. Um, we'll throw a lever up on top of that. There we go. And then I'm just going to shift right click it with the uh, receiver. And the receiver is going to have the same channel. So they're both on channel one now. And that's what we want. So when I turn on one, it sends a signal through the other, basically. So boom, well, when I turn on the transmitter, probably around that height there. And once I do this, I need to turn the redstone signal off, or sorry, turn it to want a redstone signal. Then we're probably gonna come out here and throw one of these puppies down and wrench that so it's facing the right way. There we go. And that should already be set up. I should be able to turn that on and off now. Hopefully no problem. Uh, let's throw oh, speed upgrades. I need to grab those. Do not push me. Hold shift. There we go. Bam. And throw you in there. And that should give it max speed. And like I said, they could only, yeah, power penalty level four. That is the maximum. The most they'll take now is four GP. So, yeah, that is the thing. And uh, I should be able to turn this on now. I should actually 
be a thing. You can see here, they do not care about light levels at all whatsoever anymore. So, yeah, definitely, definitely something you want to be aware of. And we already got some blaze rods there. Probably let that run for a couple seconds. Any other reason to go in there at all? I'm just making sure I'm done on the inside for right now. But uh, now we can come back here at any time and kind of, you know, do this as needed and work on it. Expand it. Because uh, I am going to end up with spawners for all the thermal mobs. And uh, yeah, anyway, I guess I'll just use that. There we go. And those mobs shouldn't spawn yet, so don't really have to worry about that. Go here. Bam. And that's pretty cool. Okay, and I should be able to turn that on now. Or off, I should say. And I should start seeing weather mobs. I did. I already see the spider. See, yeah, it's working. It's doing its thing. That's actually pretty awesome. Worked out pretty well. So, blaze rods. We already have 14 already, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to make ourselves an ender tank for sure. So go here. Ender tank. An ender trank. No, ender tank. There we go. Let's grab some of these. Take some cauldrons. Everything takes iron. There we go. Bam. One, two, sweet, and maybe lapis. I always use lapis for cheap dye. Let's do that. Boom. Because I need to set these two channels. So these are just basically, right now, they're link tanks. So if I put a liquid in this one, it's also going to appear in this one because they're on the same channel. The channel means they're all the same color on the top here, these little dots, and you can change them. So right now, if I put water in this one, it wouldn't be in this one. But now, if I put that there, they're on the same channel again, the water in this one appear appear on this one. You'll kind of see that here in a couple seconds. I am gonna need another servo though. I need servos for days. Uh, servo. Let's just use this one. There we go. Gonna have to set this up over here. Did I keep fluid duct? I did. Okay. Oh, there's a bonus servo. I'll just use this one. So we got fluid duct. I need to automatically be able to pipe uh, fluids into our enchantment factory and our enchantment applicator and the ore processor. So yeah, I'm gonna kinda do it like this. Put that there, Ooh, not there. Ah, they're not supposed to be linked like that. Anyway, I guess I could've, why am I doing it like this? This is kinda silly. Let's not do that, let's not do that, or this, okay? I'll fix that hole in a bit, I'm not concerned. I need my ring, there we go. There we go. I probably just sit on top of this wire right here. This cable. Probably a much cleaner way of doing it. There we go. So... Yeah. Oh, it pulled it out of the pipes. I was wondering where it pulled it from. So I'm going to set it to output. So it's on output right now. That's the way we want it. I want this one to just get the liquid and then pipe it through these pipes. Uh, this other one's going to be on input. But, uh, apparently we don't even need a servo. That is actually cool. Okay. Probably because it's coming from the top. I never thought about that. Uh, anyway, let's go back inside and kind of get the last one set up. Then we can kind of move on here. So this one is going to sit right here, go right there, and uh, right now it's getting filled up, and that's exactly what we want. So this one is just going to pull liquids out of here and then send it to the other one. They're linked now. They'll both be completely full. If liquid gets pulled out of this one, you get pulled out of the other one as well. And, uh, that should handle everything. So that's pretty cool. And okay, the next thing we're going to do is kind of link up the two things we just did. So we did the mob farm and the items, all that jazz. And we also did the drawers. So I want to start pulling things from the mob farm straight into the drawers. That is basically what we're going to do and uh, what we're going to work towards. But uh, we need to get some stuff here. First thing I need is a faster servo. So well, actually, the first thing I need is an enter chest. So let's make an enter chest. Uh, we actually need two of them. This is going to be the main way I kind of move items around uh, for most of the pack. Because, well, it's easy, it's fast, and it works. And uh, I'll just leave these ones white, white, white. This is the main channel I usually use, the fall channel. I pull into whatever my storage system is. So just, uh, you know, that way I always know. Um, I'm going to need faster servo. So we're going to need some Enderium. We haven't made Enderium yet. So let's kind of get to that. I forget how many, how much is it for Enderpearls for a bucket? Because I think we need a bucket. All right, let's go to uh, Enderium. And uh, I just, I just want the Resident Ender much 250 it is four so we're gonna run that through the magma crucible i guess we'll do that and uh a bucket so hopefully we got one in here hopefully no of course not let's go here grab a bucket grab that jazz and i think we what is the recipe it's like three silver and something else 
Ethereum ingot. Let's go. Would be where would it be? <laughs> where would it be? Uh, we can see it right here. There we go. So one platinum, three lead. Okay, that's what it is. Let's grab uh, lead. Throw you there. There we go. We got our bucket of resident ender. And I think we have to do some energized glowstone too. Now that I think of it. Ooh, a little bit of lag. No clue why. Not gonna worry about it. There we go. Let's grab that. There we go. Grab you. I have those back there because this is gonna be for automation later on. Because you won't see it later on. But anyway, let's do that. That, that, that. That should give us our blend, right? Blend. There we go. We have four. Uh, what is the best way to process this? Probably the induction smelter, my guess. Yes, because we'll get slag. Okay, let's grab... Anything? No, we have everything. <laughs> I guess we'll just throw that through here. And throw that through there. Okay, we'll let that go. Come back and get that in a sec. Uh, the next thing we're going to want is better item ducts, actually. Let's go to item duct and make these ones. I want the impulse duct. We need to be able to get items. This this chest, by the end of the pack, is going to have a lot of items coming through it. I need the fastest setup we can possibly get. I don't know if this is the fastest, but I'm going to try using the thermal ones first. And later on, if it comes an issue, I'll switch over the transfer nodes. Uh, but yeah, we got to do that. To make these uh, impulse ones, though, where's the recipe? Right there. So they take 200 millibuckets of glowstone. I don't remember how much glowstone uh, it is per. So let's go here. Recipe. Let's go to... I want the liquid. There we go. So right here. 250. So four would be five, I guess. Let's do just do like eight. And then I'll kind of work it out so I have a bucket, I guess. There we go. Because we need how many? Six per. So that's 1.2 bucket. It's an off number anyway, apparently. So if I have to throw some away, I guess it's not that big of a good deal. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's do that. Should be getting in there. Awesome. And I should be able to just take the item ducks, right? And go straight to there, right? Yes. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. Probably make a fair amount of these because these ones are just faster. So the impulse ones, items travel more rapidly. And that's what I want. I want the items to move quicker. And uh, between that and the new servo we're going to make, that's kind of, you know, what's going on there. But uh, I'll just I'll convert a bunch of these. Whatever I can. Let's grab our Enderium. And work towards our servo. Bam. Go to servo. Go to here. I think we could upgrade one of these, right? Yep. Let's do that. And these ones are faster, too. So you can see there, uh, extractor rate is uh, 0 0.05. And I think it's... These ones are 0 0.5, too. 6.5. Boom. But the speed boost. So it can extract from multiple slots, and the speed boost is time three on these ones. So that is kind of what I'm going for there. Boom. And do we have six? I only need six right this second. So let's grab that. Just so we can get one recipe done. Let's go to... Uh, what is it? Item duct. Make our impulse. Bam. Oh, what did it want? It's any hardened glass. So I'm going to have to make some hardened glass. I'm out again. I should make a big batch of this. Okay, now that I'm done going off on a tangent, I got confused for a second because I kind of looked at the recipe. I thought we had to do this, but we don't. I, this is just to change the opegs to impulse. You know what I mean? Change the back and forth. So apparently it's a step for no apparent reason. So I went ahead and made uh, hardened glass for no apparent reason. But anyway, I kind of sorted that out. I think we have everything we need, though. So let's go down here. Bam. And uh, kind of get this kind of set up here. Can I fly right now? That is the main thing. No, of course not. Let's go there. There we go. I wonder if you could just pick that up and drop it in your inventory. I should probably try that. But anyway, we're going to grab this impulse item duct. We're going to throw it right here. We're going to grab a the enter chest. Throw it right here. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't like it that it's facing that direction. I'll fix it after. And grab this resident servo. Boom. And set it to redstone on. So basically, the way it's working right now is it's just waiting for things in the chest, and it'll pump it into the controller. The controller will disperse it to the proper spots. Of course, we don't have proper spots uh, set yet, but uh, that is definitely something we're going to do. So that is the first half of that. That'll handle that. Let's go back over here. Boom. And go to the mob farm, I guess. The mob farm is that one. This one doesn't have to be as fast because not as many items are going to be coming out of it. I went to the wrong one. Uh, 
But yeah, not as many items are going to be coming out of this one, right? But later on, I'm going to have a lot of ender chests coming from different locations. Uh, so it's more important to have the main line fast, right? So the ender chest gets emptied as quick as possible. Got one little guy stuck up there. I should mention too, the mobs that come out of these disturbed spawners are not normal. They're super fast, they're stronger. Be careful of them. <laughs> they're not like horrible or anything, but uh, they're not friendly at all. Uh, items. So I guess I could just end this. Uh, easiest way to do that, actually. Let's go back. No, oh, no, 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 no. Entry point. Let's go back out here. I need to get rid of this crate. So it's kind of a problem. Let's go over here. Actually, let's sort everything first. Let's go to uh, Keeper. Let's make a Keeper. I can actually bleed it all out the easy way. Keeper. Grab one of you. There we go. I need this off here. I do not need this... Uh, I actually probably don't even need this. Well, I do need the single. Actually, I just don't need as much of it. Let's go here. And then go inside. Because we're going to have to sort all of this. And I'm probably going to need a trash can, too, actually, to deal with the bows. But uh, we'll get to that. So I guess I could throw maybe an inner chest, maybe right here. That'll probably work. And I'm going to need a servo. Actually, we already have a servo. I guess I can do this. Let's see here. Boom. Oh, I don't have uh, my stuff on me. Dang, damn it. I'm probably going to come back and turn these into leadstone now. These two. That one and the ones on the outside. Because I don't need the single plated anymore up to that point. I only need the single plated up to here to be able to feed the items into here, right? So that should handle that. And uh, yeah, let's basically wait for items. Let's see if items end up in the chest really quick. This is kind of what we want here. Yes, they're ending up in the chest. And that's exactly what I want. Pretty cool. Awesome. Is it getting other items too? Come on. Show me something. There we go. I see stuff going in there. Oh, we already have homes for that stuff. So that stuff's already getting sorted. That's why that's doing that. Let's go over to the actual door wall. Kind of get the rest of it set up. Um, I'm also going to need a trash can, like I said. So let's get that. Just so I can get rid of some items that I don't need. So let's go to trash. Oh, I don't have one. Keep meaning, meaning to make one. Let's go here. Make one of you. Trash can. And I kind of want that one fast, too. As long as it moves the items fast. I'll probably make a better servo later. Because I think I'm out of single them, aren't I? Single them. No. Single them. There we go. Servo. Am I out? Yes. Oh, oh, that's all I'm out of? That's not a big deal then. Let's do that. Bam. Take this. I'd like to have it decently fast, but this one doesn't have to be super fast because there shouldn't be too much trash coming into these drawers. The bow should be the only problem, really. And, uh, let's head downstairs. Okay. So, the way I usually sort my chest is like this. So, I kind of pump items in here kind of decide how everything is then as items like this get stuck because oh, these ones here have no homes yet they don't have a place to go that is why they're sitting here um i can basically pick a spot and do these ones go to lamps in this one and uh, let's see here i don't know what mod mod usually does that yes they do can they go back from lamps to blaze rods uh let's go to blaze boom use I guess we could turn that's a that's a horrible horrible exchange okay we will not put those in the compacting drawer then they'll go here for now on you just saw it i'd only put a certain amount in it's already up to 23 all the items from that chest are going there uh redstone is going to end up in a compacting drawer and you can see we've got blocks now and we have that any redstone that comes through that drawer now is now going to get automatically sorted kind of what we're going for uh, i'm probably going to do the same thing with that and this is kind of how I do my sorting. It's kind of non-thought. I do have to deal with those bows, though. But uh, we'll do that in a second. Let's see here. I need a place for sulfur. There we go. And all I have to do is every once in a while come back to this ender chest and make sure there's no new item kind of, you know, jamming everything up. Let's come here. And uh, I maybe need to deal with that. What's the easiest side to do that from? I don't really have the best setup here, but at the same time, it'll work. Guess we'll just use an impulse hopper just so it's quite quick oh not there 
I want it on top. Doesn't really matter. Just me being picky. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Why won't you go on top? Why you no top? Let's say I'm at the ceiling block. There we go. Then we're going to... Actually... Okay, there's nothing there. Can't pull items out yet. That's great. Go here. I'm going to grab that bow. I'm going to throw a servo in this. This one here. Put it right there. I'm going to throw the bow in here. Bam. I'm going to tell it to ignore metadata. I'm going to tell it to ignore MBT. And we're going to use this as a whitelist. So right now, the only thing it's going to pull out of there should be bows. So I should be able to take that bow, throw it in there, and turn the redstone on, and pull the bow. The bow got pulled in the trash can. The bow is no longer a problem. So that sorts out sorting. That is, <laughs> it sorts out sorting. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I'll probably have shovels come in and picks. I haven't noticed any enchanted items come through uh, the mob farm at all. So I don't know what's doing that. I don't know if that's the uh, industrial for going or something else affecting that, but mobs don't seem to be dropping enchanted items at all, so I don't really have to watch those. But uh, yeah, that's actually handling everything. The only thing I last thing I want to do before we move on, um, or I guess wrap up the video, is make some void upgrades. Let's make some really quick. Void. Boom, because things are going to get backed up. And I do not want them to get backed up, because being backed up isn't good. Um, we're going to need some more chest. There we go. That should handle that. And this is just to make sure, because in time, <laughs> these drawers will end up completely full. Especially these ones over here, right? These ones are going to get filled up fast. So I wanted to have it set so I only have so much of these items in the system. Because quite frankly, how many carrots do I need? How much chicken and potatoes? Sulfur... Well, I mean, I can come certain ones. I can come back later and add uh, upgrades to make them hold more items. But at least this way, I don't have to worry about the system getting backed up from those particular items. Um, this one and this one are definitely getting upgrades. Wow, we already got 72. That's pretty quick. Um, yeah, but that is how I'm going to sort things. So I'm going to be in between videos, moving all my items over here and uh, kind of doing that. And uh, all the ones that I want in the drawer. And I'm sure I'll identify more as we go because I probably won't fill it right away. Uh, as we go through the pack. So it's going to be how I do my sorting. I just wanted to sort my sorting because everyone always asks how you do your sorting. And uh, it's one of those things I've always learned to kind of show people how I do things. Oh, there's another trash because I don't think those are used for anything, are they? Nope. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, that is how I do it. And uh, that way I could just, I just need to check this chest every once in a while. And okay, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. I'm just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to check that out, it will be down in the description. Stop on by, say hello. Just uh, keep it classy. That's all I ask. On top of that, I also have a Patreon page and a Patreon server. Patreon server is currently running this pack. So if you're interested in that, you know, check out my Patreon page. See what the things that it says. I do need to update that page. There's a couple things I can update. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be adding more Patreon servers too in the next coming months. So I'm probably going to end up with about four of them. And, uh, you know, you have different packs to choose from. But uh, anyway, I'm going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.